we've given our AI the ability to make API calls. But there's still a major limitation. When you ask about recent events, current news, or anything that happened after the AI's training cutoff, it can't help. This is where web search tools come in. Web search allows the AI to search the internet in real time, find current information, and incorporate it into responses. It's basically like giving the AI access to Google right from within your chat interface. Now, web search is a bit different from the tools we've built so far because the tool is built into the AI provider's platform rather than something we code ourselves. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use OpenAI's web search capabilities. I will also show you how to use Anthropic's web search capabilities because there is a slight difference in the implementation. One important thing to note is that web search has different pricing than regular chat completions. Each search costs extra, so keep an eye on your usage when developing. All right, let's head back to VS Code and get started. For this lesson, we will use our existing tools implementation as the starting point. In the API folder, create a new folder called web search tool. Copy the route handler from the tools folder into this new folder. Similarly, in the UI folder, create a new folder called web hyphen search hyphen tool. Copy the page.tsx file from the tools folder into this new folder. Update the component name to web search tool page and the API endpoint to slash API slash web search tool. Make sure to also update the path for chat message. API slash web search tool. Perfect. We should now have a working chat interface. Let's test it out. In the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash UI slash web search tool. Enter the prompt. What's the latest version of Nixjs as of August 26th, 2025? And what are the main changes? Submit the prompt. And you will see the AI can't answer because it doesn't have access to that. I don't have live web access from here, so I can't look up the exact Next.js release published on August 26, 2025. And then it gives me some instructions on how to figure out myself. So the AI is smart enough to understand what you're asking, but can't actually get you the information. Let's go back to VS Code and add a tool so the AI can search the web on the fly and answer your questions. In the route handler, first remove the existing weather tool. You can also remove the tool helper function as well as the Zod import. We'll have an empty tools object. Now I mentioned web search tool is typically provided by the AI provider. So we access it differently. For OpenAI, add web underscore search underscore preview. This is going to be OpenAI dot tools dot web search preview. This is a built-in tool from OpenAI. We will pass in an empty object as configuration options. But that is pretty much it. The web search tool is now available to the UI through this tools property. OpenAI handles all the complexity of searching the web, parsing results, and returning relevant information. Now, one other change is we need to update the stream text model to OpenAI.responses with the model GPT-5 mini. Both OpenAI and AI SDK docs recommend using the responses model for OpenAI web search, but I found that web search works fine without having to specify that. To be on the safer side, I'll stick to the docs, so make sure to update OpenAI.responses. I'm using mini, but please feel free to use nano as it is more cost efficient. If you feel the results aren't what you expect, then you can upgrade to mini. All right, our route handler is now ready. Let's update the UI. In the page component, we need to handle the web search tool parts. In the message rendering switch, update the get weather tool call to web underscore search underscore preview. The four cases remain the same. Input streaming, input available, output available, and output error. However, we don't get access to input and output. So I'm going to quickly modify just the JSX. First, for case input streaming, we're going to return the text preparing to search. 
Next, for input available, we're going to render the text searching the web. For output available, we're going to render the text web search complete. And finally, for output error, we're going to render web search failed. And also the error text. Very minimal changes. And our UI component is also ready. Let's test this. Back in the browser, enter the same prompt. What's the latest version of Next.js as of August 26th, 2025? And what are the main changes? Press enter and you will see preparing to search, which is our web search tool call. Now OpenAI does multiple searches to gather all the necessary information. And this UI is very specific to OpenAI, as you will see in just a moment when we implement for Anthropic. All right, after about 10 web search tool calls, we can see the short answer as of 26 August. The newest stable release is Next.js 15.5, released around August 20th, 2025. And we'll also get to see what's new. Don't worry too much about the response formatting right now, but you can see the content is all there. What's the latest version of Next.js and what are the changes? The AI is providing information based on current search results. Our web search tool is working and the AI is no longer limited to its training data. Now, let me show you Anthropic's version. You don't have to follow along if you don't have an Anthropic key, but I will show you how to do it. In the route handler, first import Anthropic at the top. So import Anthropic from AI SDK slash Anthropic. Comment out the OpenAI tool and add Anthropic's web search tool. Web underscore search. And this is going to be Anthropic dot tools dot web search 2025-0305. This has a version date in the name, which ensures stability as they update the tool. But we can also specify the max uses parameter, which limits how many searches can happen in one request. I'll set it to one. Very useful for controlling costs. Next, in the stream text function, update the model to use Claude. So I'm going to comment out the existing line and change it to Anthropic Claude Sonnet for 2025-0514. Next, in the page component, we need to update the case for Anthropic's tool name, web underscore search. So in page.tsx, comment this out and add a new case, tool web underscore search. The rest of the content is identical to the OpenAI version. So no more changes, save the file, head back to the browser and test with the same prompt. What's the latest version of Next.js as of August 26th, 2025? And what are the main changes? Press enter and you should see the tool call, searching the web, web search complete, and we get back our response based on the search results as of August 26, 2025, the latest version is Next.js 15.5, which was released on August 18, 2025. You can see Anthropic's version of web search is much cleaner from a UI perspective. We don't see multiple tool calls like we did with OpenAI. We just see one. This configuration from Anthropic is super useful. And if you scroll down, we also see the main changes in Next.js 15.5. We have successfully added web search capabilities to our AI chat. We first integrated OpenAI's web search tool and handled the tool call UI. Then we switched to Anthropic's implementation by updating the tool as well as the model. The UI is the same for both providers. Web search changes your AI from a static knowledge base into a dynamic assistant that can stay current with world events.